Hi again, everyone, and consider this, the link between the pollen counts and weather. The longer that we have warmer days that go on through the fall and into the winter, the longer the pollen continues to be a problem. Mold spores are a problem today if you're suffering a little bit. I think I am. We have high mold spore counts thanks to the rain over the weekend. Currently, we have not much going on across Texas. There's high pressure firmly in control at high, extends all the way up into New Mexico. It's sending us a southwesterly wind, giving us clear skies and just really quiet and comfortable weather right now. And overnight, thanks to the southwest winds, temperatures will be a little warmer than they were last night. Early this morning, it dropped to 39. Overnight tonight will likely drop into the mid to upper 40s across the area. Some areas may be staying in the low 50s. There might be a little uh, patchy ground fog again tomorrow morning. And then by the afternoon, with a few more clouds around and southwesterly winds breezy at times, look at these highs. Low 70s, mid 70s, maybe 74 at Longview. Tomorrow night in Kilgore at 630, they've got their Christmas parade at 6 p.m., 61 degrees, 8 p.m. on our way home, 56 degrees. It'll be a comfortable evening for that Christmas parade. Here's the overall weather set up this week and heading into the weekend. Essentially, the jet stream is running from the northwest to the southeast, but it's all the way up here toward the Great Lakes. That's allowing warm air to move all the way up into Nebraska this week. The cold air is bottled up into southern Canada. Canada, but cold fronts are following this flow. Most of those are making a run at East Texas and then falling apart. The result, temperatures in the low to mid 70s as we head into the late week and into the weekend, one of these fronts may eventually reach us. So here's Thursday's setup. Warm front moves through here. We have a little disturbance moving out of Mexico. By Friday, we could see a few rain showers here by the afternoon or especially Friday night. And then one of those fronts drops finally into East Texas Friday night into Saturday morning bringing us about a 50% chance for some rain, followed by high pressure building in for the tail end of the weekend. The front's fairly weak, so it's not going to bring us a big drastic temperature drop, which you'll see here on the seven-day forecast. So tonight, clear skies, mostly clear uh, until maybe early morning. Foggy, some foggy spots around. Southwest winds 5 to 10 and an overnight low right around 47 degrees. And on our Baylor Scott & White Texas Spine and Joint Hospital seven-day forecast, so tomorrow more clouds, but still nice. Southwest winds averaged out at about 10 miles an hour and a high temperature of 73. A warmer blend of sun and clouds on Wednesday up to 74 after a morning low of 53. Thursday, mid 70s. And then Friday will bring in that afternoon or late night chance, especially a late night chance. 75 the high and then we've got a morning chance Saturday. 74 morning lows around 60 then just slightly cooler Sundays. We begin to clear things out 66 and near average by Monday up to 64 degrees. We'll have another look at the seven day forecast coming up at the bottom of this half hour.